Welcome to Yoga Practice uh, with Twist as we try to twist and wring things out. Uh, remember that twists help us with uh, digestion, uh, elimination, uh, removing toxins, as well as uh, trunk mobility. So we're going to start face down today. Uh, if you don't have a yoga block out, I encourage you to get one or you can use a thick book if you don't have a block. And then a yoga strap as we'll use that. If you don't have a stretch strap, you can use a towel. So let's go ahead and get face down on our mat or our towel. So getting into a comfortable position, I encourage you to take your legs about the width of your mat and uh, toes turned out. And you can stack your hands or your fists and lay face down or turn your head to one side or the other. And let's just go ahead and lay there and wiggle it out as we start to allow our body to sink into our mat. And we're just gonna calm the body, the mind, and slow the breath as we start our practice. So as we inhale through the nose, the belly will rise, the body will rise with our breath. And then as we slowly exhale, our body will sink and relax. Inhale. Stomach rises, body rises, ribs expand, lungs fill, and then slowly blow all the air out. And continue to slow the breath for a few more rounds as we start our practice. And taking one more slow belly breath here, please. And lifting our head up, hands underneath our shoulders, push back into extended child pose. Bring the big toes together, separate the knees about the width of our mat. Our block can go between the hips and the heels or underneath our forehead for a little lift. So at the start of our practice, we tend to be a little, a little stiffer, a little less mobile. So the block, remember, is not a cheating prop. It's an aid. It gets us into the poses deeper and better over time. Think about taking the breath into the back of the ribs as we inhale. Big, expansive breath and then a slow exhale. Keeping the arms long overhead, lightly tuck the chin and round yourself up through cat. When the shoulders get over the wrist, return to a neutral spine. Bring the knees underneath the hips, set our block off to the side as we go into cat cow. We're going to drop the tailbone down, hollow out the low belly, rounding our back up, arching it like a cat, and let the head hang last, eyes gaze between our thighs. Inhale, cow, tailbone tilts up. Sitting bones open as we round our spine down towards the mat, draw the shoulder blades down and in, head comes up last. And then back and forth like we're rolling a marble, slowly up and down our spine, starting at the tailbone and finishing with the crown of our head. moving at our own speed throughout our practice, doing what's right for us today. After our next cow pose, return to a neutral spine. And then we're just gonna do a little opening of the chest. So open up with the left hand up, lift it towards the ceiling, your eyes follow your hand, and then return it center. And then right arm lifts, open up the chest, look at the hand. Try to keep the hips still as we continue to go from side to side. So open up. Exhale as we open. 
Inhale to come back center. Let's do once more on each side. Starting with some light rotations. And then come back center. And now we're going to come down to our forearms. And we're going to keep the hips above the knees, so adjusting if you need to. And then open up left arm towards the ceiling. And then come back center to the forearm. And then right arm opens. Our low belly muscle is firm, supporting our low back to keep us from overarching it. Engaging the front part of our core to keep the pelvis stable. So the transverse abdominus muscle, once more each way. And then return center, come back up to the hands and we're gonna do a thread the needle. We're gonna lift the right arm up towards the ceiling, eyes follow the hands, and then we're gonna slide it on our mat to our towel underneath our left arm, and then come down to rest on the right shoulder. Head can be on the mat if that's uncomfortable and you need a little support or want it, use your block to rest your head on. So again, low belly is still engaged, firm through the low abdomen. Inhale and exhale, come back center. Change sides, left arm sweeps up and then slide it underneath the right armpit. Coming down to the left shoulder, head on the block or on your mat. Using your right hand for as much lift as you need to so there's just the right amount of pressure with that twist on your left shoulder. Inhale and exhale, derotate. Come center, let's do that once more. Right arm lifts, exhale, thread the needle, lowering down to the block or to your mat. Keep breathing, enjoy the stretch. And derotate, come back center. Last time, left arm sweeps and thread the needle. Keep breathing. Inhale and exhale, derotate. Sit back into extended child's pose. Arms can stay center, or you can walk both hands to the left side of your mat. Place the right hand on the left. Drop your hips slightly to the left, and take about think about breathing into the left lung a little more. And now shift the hips to the right, the outside of the right heel. Breathe into the right lung a little more. Walk the hands through the middle to the right side of the mat. Left hand on top of the right. Drop the hips slightly to the right. Take the breath a little bigger into our right lung. And then shift the hips to the left and take the breath a little bigger into our left lung. And walk the hands back center. Draw the hands underneath the shoulders, and let's roll ourselves up, stacking our spine one vertebra at a time, coming into diamond. And let's go ahead and find our block or our book, and we're going to sit on the front edge of it. In easy seated pose, one heel in front of the other, or cross the ankles if that works best for you. And we're going to start with lateral flexion of our spine, just nice and easy as we try to keep the weight even on the sit bones as we go side to side. And then holding to one side, imagine you're dropping water out of your ear. Relax the shoulders a little more. And then reverse it. Let's go the other way. Inhale and exhale, come center. Good job, hands to heart center, chest and back opener. Draw the forearms together, lift up through our center. Inhale, reach for our sidewalls. And then exhale as the hands and forearms come back together. As we flow with the arms, we're gonna to try to keep our torso still. Now let's go once more in this direction. And then reverse it, chest and back opener. Come down through the middle, inhale, open. Exhale, close. Keeping the forearms together as long as we can. As always, eyes open or closed throughout your practice. 
and once more. Great job. We're going to go ahead and reach our right arm up towards the ceiling, drop it close to the glute, bring the left hand on the outside of the right thigh, inhale, sit tall, exhale, rotate from the base of our spine first, one vertebra at a time. The head and neck rotates last. Inhale, sit taller. Exhale, derotate from the bottom up. Come back center. Left arm reaches for the ceiling. Drop it close to the glute. Push the floor away. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale to rotate. Lifting out of the sit bones. Weight even on the sit bones. As we continue to belly breathe. Inhale and exhale, derotate from the bottom up. Nice job. Let's take our left hand on the outside of our right thigh, right arm up towards the ceiling, drop it close to the glute, push the floor away, and then rotate from the bottom up. Inhale and exhale, derotate, come back center, changing sides. Left hand, excuse me, right hand on the outside of our left thigh, left arm reaches for the ceiling. Drop it close to the glute, push the floor away, and then rotate from the bottom up. So just reversing the grab for a little twist. Inhale and exhale, derotate, come back center. Nice job. Let's go ahead and place the opposite foot in front or on top, still sitting on the front edge of our block. Nice job. And this time we're going to go ahead and take our left hand behind our back and try to grab our right waist. Right arm reaches for the ceiling, drop it close to the glute, push the floor away, and then rotate. So again, you're just trying to grab the waist. It's a small rotation because you won't have as much leverage with your arms. Inhale and exhale, derotate, come back center, changing sides. Right hand tries to grab the left waist, left hand close to the glute, sit tall, and then rotate from the bottom up. So again, it's a small rotation. Keep breathing, relax the shoulders. Inhale and exhale, derotate, come back center. Let's bring the soles of our feet together for our cobbler's pose. Grabbing the toes of the ankles and then let's butterfly the legs. Just let them relax as we flutter them. And then releasing the butterfly. Inhale, sit a little taller. Exhale, hinge forward from the hips. Coming forward with the flat back head in line with the spine, collarbones wide. Trying to get our knees to come closer to our mat over time. If you wish, add a little bit of pressure with your forearms on your inner thighs. Tension, not pain. It should be a pleasant stretch. Inhale and exhale, rise up and let's butterfly again. You're always welcome to stay in the pose longer or come out of it sooner, add your own little variation to it, take it up a level or down a level. And then release the flutter. Inhale, sit a little taller. Exhale, hinge forward from the hips one more time. As always, try to take the breath into the tight spots. As we exhale, ease into it a little more, applying gentle pressure if you wish. Some people like to rock side to side. If it feels good to you, do it. Coming back, center, inhale, and exhale, rise up. Nice job. Let's come off our block, just place it behind us. We're going to add some more twists with the hug. We're going to extend the left leg out long, bring the right leg across the left, hug the knee into the chest. So the left foot is flexed, the leg is active. If you'd like a little more intensity, bring the heel underneath you and continue to hug the knee into the center of our chest. Weight even on the sit bones and then reach the right arm for the ceiling, drop it close to the glute, push the floor away as we hug the knee and rotate from the bottom up. Continue to belly breathe. Good, inhale and exhale, derotate, come back center. Let's hug the knee in with both arms, left leg long or underneath us, and just go ahead and lean into it. Round your back if you want, drop your 
nose towards your knee. Relaxing our shoulders if we need to, wiggle them out. If you don't feel a stretch, make sure the knee is in the center of the chest and bring the right heel up closer to the crease of the left hip. Inhale and exhale to rise up. Great job. Untwist the legs. Right leg out long, left leg over the top. If you wish, bring the right leg underneath us, if your body allows. Hug the left knee into the center of the chest, weight even on the sit bones as we sit tall with our spine. And then reach the left arm for the ceiling. Drop it close to the glute, push the floor away as we get a little taller and then rotate from the bottom up as we continue to hug the left knee in. Keep belly breathing again. Twists help with digestion, removing toxins. Inhale and exhale, derotate, come back center, hug the knee in with both arms again, lean into it. Again, left leg can be out in front if our body likes that better or underneath us. Let your head hang, nose to the knee, wiggle out the shoulders. If you need a little more, of a stretch. Make sure the knee is in the center of our chest and bring the left heel closer up to the crease of the right hip. Inhale and exhale to rise. Great job. Go ahead and untangle the legs and let's come into all fours for spinal balance. Knees underneath the hips, wrists underneath the shoulders. Exhale, right leg lifts, flex the foot, square the hips off, left arm reaches, bicep next to the ear, low belly muscle again firm, supporting the low back to keep it from arching, and then return the hand and knee to the mat. Exhale, left leg lifts, flex the foot, square the hips off, right arm reaches, bicep next to the ear, continuing to push the floor away. And then return the hand and knee to the mat. Walking out into our plank pose. So we can be hands and knees with the hands underneath the shoulders or hands and toes, feet hip distance apart. Head in line with the spine. Big hands, I call them starfish hands, engaging all the knuckles to take the pressure out of the wrist. Inhale and exhale, down dog. So hips up and back as we make that upside down V with our body. It's okay to move the hands and the feet. We're pressing our chest towards our thighs and letting our arms hug our head like a picture. Inhale up on the toes. Exhale, lower the heels. Think about pressing the front of the thighs to the back of them a little more, engaging the quads, protecting the knee joints, giving them some support with our muscles. Good job. Inhale up on the toes. Exhale, come forward into our plank. Hands and knees or hands and toes. And then lower the body as one unit. Top of the feet flat. Elbows hug our ribs. Inhale and exhale, half cobra. Float the crown of our head forward to the wall in front of us as we keep our feet anchored. If they pop up, we're a little too high. Let's lower down to keep them down on our mat. And now let's belly breathe. Rise and fall with our breath. One more, and then return to the mat. Nice job. Dig the feet in, hip distance apart. Inhale and exhale. Push up into your plank and then back into our down dog. Big hands push the mat away, adding a little rotation. You can stay in two-legged down dog or lift your right leg up. Open up the hips. Big hands again, straight arms. If you want, bend your right knee, spiral open. Look underneath your right arm. Good. Again, keep pushing the mat away. See how close we can get our chest to our left thigh. And then straighten the right leg. Derotate. Lower the right foot to the mat. Inhale up on the toes. Exhale, lower the heels. Sustain, or if you wish, left leg up. Open up the hips. Left knee bends. Gravity assist. Spiral open. Look underneath our left arm as we press our chest towards our right thigh. 
Big hands, straight arms. Straighten the left leg, derotate the hips. Lower the left foot to the mat. Inhale up on the toes. Exhale, lower the heels one more time. Inhale up on the toes. Exhale, come forward into your plank. And lower the body as one unit. Top of our feet flat, elbows hug the ribs, inhale, and exhale, half cobra. Float the arms up to make sure we're not using them. And then set them back down. Rise and fall with our belly breath. Using our breath and our body weight to massage our diaphragm. Good, inhale and exhale to lower. Dig the feet in one more time, inhale and exhale, down dog. So hips go up and then back. So this time let's walk our dog. Pedal the feet in place, whatever speed you want. Taking time to enjoy the extra stretch in the calf and Achilles. One more breath here, please. Inhale up on the toes. Exhale, lower the knees to the mat. Top of the feet flat. Push back into extended child. Knees together, knees apart. With or without our block as always. And then draw the hands underneath the shoulders. Lightly tuck the chin in. Let's roll ourselves up. Returning to seated diamond. Stack in the spine one vertebra at a time. Nice work. Coming up to kneeling. We're going to bring our right leg forward. As many steps as we need to to feel a stretch. We push our hips forward. Hands can be on the muscle or framing our foot on the mat. Just make sure the upper back is as flat as you can get it. Try not to be rounded through the upper back in the rib cage area. It's almost like you're trying to reach your sternum forward. And then if you don't feel a stretch, I encourage you to spread your legs a little wider. You're always welcome to double up your mat, especially if you're on a hardwood floor. Inhale and exhale, lift and open the heart. Crescent moon. If you want a little extra balance challenge, close the eyes. And then bring the hands to heart center. Go ahead and bow forward. Left elbow comes to the outside of our right thigh. Pick up any extra flesh. Move it aside as we rotate our torso to our right. And then bring our hands in that prayer position if our body allows. Try to get the right elbow to point up to the ceiling. And now let's relax the shoulders. Lengthen the neck. Keep belly breathing. If you wish as you exhale, try to deepen the rotation. Be gentle. Be kind to the body. Good, inhale and exhale, derotate. Changing sides, right leg back, left leg forward. Again, as many steps as we need to. When we push the pelvis forward, we feel a nice stretch in the front of the right hip. Hands on the muscle or framing the foot. Upper back flat, reach the sternum forward. Our low lunge, inhale and exhale, lift and open crescent. Shoulders relaxed and the eyes soften. Bring the hands to heart center. Go ahead, bow forward. Right elbow to the outside of our left thigh. Pick up any extra flesh, move it aside. And then rotate the torso to our left. Hands back into prayer. Try to get the left elbow to point towards our ceiling. As we exhale, deepen the twist if you choose. Good, inhale and exhale, derotate, come back center. Left leg comes back. We're gonna go into front thigh stretch before we do another twist. So fingertips come behind us. We can use fists for wrists. Exhale, lift the hips as high as we can. Lift the heart. A hip opener, hip extension. Inhale and exhale, lower the hips down. Nice job. Right leg forward. 
Again, as many steps as we need to to feel a stretch in the front of our left hip. So left knee can stay down again, or if you'd like a little more, dig the toes under. Left knee off our mat. Good. Inhale and exhale, warrior one. Draw the torso up. Hands can be at heart center. Cactus wire completion. Sink into it, trying to get our right knee at a 90 degree bend. We even from the front leg, front leg and back leg, making them work well together. Hands to heart center. Go ahead and bow forward. Left elbow to the outside of our right thigh. Again, pick up any extra flesh, move it aside. Rotate the torso to our right, hands in prayer. Gently squeeze the hips together as we really reach through that left heel. Left leg straight and strong, belly breathing. Good, inhale and exhale, derotate. Hands frame the right foot. Right foot steps back to meet our left. Inhale and exhale, down dog. Hips up and back. If you want, walk the dog again or wag the tail, shift the hips from side to side. And then come center, inhale up on the toes, exhale lower the knees to the mat. When we're ready, left leg forward, as many steps as we need to to feel a nice opening in the front of the right hip. Right knee down or right knee off our mat. Inhale and exhale, warrior one, draw the torso. Hands prayer. Cactus wire completion. Try to get our left knee at a 90 degree bend over time. Good job. Hands to heart center. Go ahead and bow forward. Right knee up or down. Right elbow to the outside of our left thigh. Pick up any extra flesh. Move it aside. Rotate the torso from the bottom up. Hands return to prayer if our body allows. Keep belly breathing. Keep reaching through the right leg. Good, inhale and exhale, derotate. Hands frame the left foot. Left foot steps back to meet our right. Inhale up on the toes. Exhale up into down dog. Hips up and back. Sustain. If you wish, place your right foot behind your left ankle and press our chest towards our left thigh just a little more. And then uncross the ankle. Pick up the left foot, place it behind the right ankle as we press our chest towards our right thigh just a little more. Keeping those big starfish hands, straight arms if we can. And then return center, uncross the ankles. Inhale up on the toes, exhale, bend the knees. Let's drop the hips. Walk our hands in to meet our feet. Keeping the knees bent, chest against the thighs. Let the head hang. Feel the ribs and the stomach rise and expand and fall as we inhale and exhale. And then when we're ready, lightly tuck the chin in just a little bit more and slowly roll up, stack in the spine, one vertebra at a time. Nice job. And let's go ahead and find our strap and our block. We're going to put it in front of us. Let's come into the center of our mat. We're going to line up in our mountain, our Tadasana. So outside edges of our feet, let's make them parallel with each other. And pick up the toes, spread them, set them down. Open up the hips just a little. Shoulders up, back and down. Relaxing at the sternum. And then closing the eyes for just a few rounds of breath. We may feel our body sway. So we find our balance, and then open the eyes. Nice job. Bend the knees, step or jump wide for triangle. We're going to turn the right foot out 90 degrees, the left foot in 20. And as always, make sure the heel is in line with the arch of the foot, pelvis level. So again, try not to drop the front hip. Arms go up. Slide the ribs to our right, push the left hip out, and then cartwheel over into our triangle. Shoulders and hips in the same plane like we're against a wall. Remember, it's real easy to shoot the hips back and bring the chest forward. Try not to. Let's relax the left shoulder blade. Kind of wiggle it out a little bit. 
And then if you want to add a little more challenge for your balance, gaze up towards the extended hand. Return our gaze center. Reach the top arm for the side wall and then our ragdoll gravity. Good job. Keep lifting the arch of the left foot. Top arm extends. Inhale and exhale. Drive through the back foot to come up. Arms can stay up or go down as we change sides. Left foot out 90, right foot in 20. Level off the pelvis. Slide the ribs to our left. Push the right hip out. Cartwheel over. Relax the shoulders. Lengthen our neck. And then wiggle out the right shoulder blade. Good. If you wish, start to gaze over towards the extended hand. Remember, everything's a choice. Good. Bring the gaze center. Top arm reaches for the side wall, lift out of the left waistline. And then our ragdoll, our gravity. Top arm extends. Inhale and exhale. Drive through the back foot to come up. Arms come down. Both feet point straight ahead. Our big toes should be straight across. We're going to have that block in front of us. Let's put a micro bend in our knees. Inhale, heart lift. Exhale, forward fold. We can go out to the side or bring our hands to our thighs for support. And then bring our hands to our block. We have three sides to the block. We got our tall, medium, short, or no block at all, depending upon your flexibility. So the weight should be even between the front part of our foot and the back. So big toe, little toe, and our heel evenly balanced. If you're heavy in the heels, shift the weight forward. If you need a little more, soften the knees to allow it to happen. Now we're going to add a rotation. So we're going to place our left hand on our block, fingers point to the wall to our right, and then we're going to open up with the right arm. Eyes follow the hand. Again, knees are soft. Inhale and exhale, derotate, come center. Right hand, the fingers point towards our left wall, open up to our left. And then come back center, decrease the block height by one if you wish. Again, left fingers point to our right wall, open up, keep the weight even, right to left leg, balance big toe, little toe, and heel, not heavy in the heels. And then derotate, come back center, right fingers point towards our left wall, open up. Inhale and exhale, derotate. If you wish, decrease your block height one more time. Fists or fingers point towards our right wall. And then open up. Breathe. Inhale and exhale. Derotate. Come center. Last time. Right fingers point to our left wall. Exhale. Open up. Inhale and exhale. Derotate. Come back center. Let's go ahead and bend the knees. Drop the hips. Pick up the heels. Turn the toes out. And sit back into our Hindu. Elbows are on the inside of our thighs to keep our knees from buckling in. We're trying to get our hips below our knees. If our body doesn't allow, that's okay to be higher. Just over time, we'll be able to get into it a little deeper. Inhale, make sure you breathe. Exhale, come up to standing. Great job. Go ahead and step the feet together and let's find our strap. Again, remember if you don't have a strap, you can just take a towel, an old towel, and cut it and make strips. Feet hip distance apart or a little wider if your body likes that. And we're going to go ahead and just put, pull, think of, like you're trying to pull the strap apart gently. And then you're just going to go to your right and then come center and to your left and come center. Shoulders and hips in the same plane. Try not to lean forward to get the extra inch. Come center. And now... We're going to go ahead and lean to our right. Good. Hold. And exhale, come center. Inhale. And now to the left. Hold. Gently tug on the strap. Inhale. And exhale, come center. Again, a gentle tug. Shoulders relax. We're going to rotate the torso without moving the hips. So try not to move the hips. Think about the hip bones pointing straight ahead. Inhale. And exhale, derotate, come center. And now we're going to do the same thing. Try not to let the hips move. 
inhale, and exhale, derotate, come center. And now we're going to go front to back. So we're going to floss our, floss our shoulder. If you're at the end of your strap or your towel and you have to bend an elbow, first time bend your right, the next time bend your left. It should be a gentle stretch. You should feel some restriction, but it should not be uncomfortable or painful. You should be able to keep the torso still. And let's do one more front to back. Nice job. Go ahead and bring it around front and go ahead and place the strap behind you. When you're ready, bend the knee, step or jump wide. We're going to go into our side angle posture. So right foot out 90 degrees, left foot in 20. Square the pelvis off and level it off. So again, it's real easy to drop and lift. Arms go up. Think about pushing the floor away. So we've got energy through our fingertips, but not tension in the shoulders. Bending our right knee up to 90 degrees and then windmill over. Hand to the muscle or form, avoid the knee itself. And then left arm goes cactus, it can stay hand at the hip. It can go into extended. Head following the path of the spine, bicep next to the ear, if our body allows. Think about lifting the arch of the left foot a little more. Good, inhale and exhale, drive through the back leg, leg stay still, upper body moves. Level off the pelvis if you happen to drop the front hip. Relax the shoulders. Good, inhale and exhale, return to side angle, hand or form to the muscle as we're trying to get our right knee right above our right ankle. Like the shin is perpendicular to our ceiling, our floor. Nice work, inhale and exhale, drive through the back leg to come up. Let's change sides, arms up or down. Left foot out 90, right foot in 20, squared up, hug the thigh bones. So let the muscles do as much work as possible. Bending our left knee up to 90 degrees and then windmill over hand or form to our thigh. Right arm position of choice. Looking for that straight line from the right ankle to the right wrist over time. Good job, inhale and exhale, reverse our warrior, legs stay still. Relax the shoulders, pelvis level. Eyes are soft. Inhale and exhale back to side angle. Keeping the arch of the right foot lifted as best we can. Good, inhale and exhale, drive up to standing. Nice job. Arms come down, toes turn out on both sides. We're gonna do an inner thigh stretch. So we still have our block in front of us, if not grab it, and we're going to bend our right knee. So again, toes are turned out, our hips are open, and we're gonna bring our hands to our block. We're trying to stretch out the inner thigh of our left leg. So if you don't feel a stretch, spread your legs a little wider or decrease the amount of block support you're giving yourself. Again, a gentle stretch, adductors. And then bend your left knee straight and your right, changing sides. You may notice that one side might be a little looser than the other. And then let's go back over, bend the right, straighten the left. If you don't feel, again, feel a stretch, spread the legs wider or decrease your block support. Inhale and exhale back over one more time, please. Great job. And then we're gonna come back center, both knees bent, drop down into our Hindu. If we need a little more of a challenge, toe heel the feet in and drop down. Good job, keep breathing, inhale. And exhale, drive up to standing. Nice job. Step the feet back together, preparing to lower. So walk to the short edge of your mat.
and raise up and balance on the balls of the feet. So we can go feet parallel or staggered or coming down any way that makes our knees happy. So we're going to slide down that imaginary wall. And then we're going to go and bow forward, step jump or walk back into our plank. We're going to walk our dog one more time. Inhale and exhale, hips up and back. It's okay to move the hands and the feet, pedal the feet. Breathe into the tight spots. See how close we can get our chest to our thighs as we walk our dog. One more breath here. Inhale up on the toes. Exhale, lower the knees to the mat. Push back into extended child. Big toes together, knees together or apart with or without our block. And then drawing our hands underneath our shoulders, lightly tuck the chin in, rolling ourselves up, stacking our spine, returning to seated diamond. Great job. Let's find our way onto our backs with our strap close by. We're going to do a couple of recline twists and then our feet in strap stretching. So just roll on down, come down any way you'd like. And then we're going to take our feet, the width of our mat. So the outside edges of our feet, the width of the mat. Arms go out to T position, palms down. And slowly let the knees fall to the right side, keeping our left shoulder anchored on our mat. If we need a little less intensity in the rotation, go ahead and slide the right foot in. If you want a little more, pick up the right foot, place the heel above to the outside of the left knee. Let the right knee fall down. If you want, add the good look, look over the left shoulder as we try to take all of our breath into our left lung. Again, it should be a gentle twist. Think about the spine being long as it's rotated. And then uncross the ankle if it's crossed, inhale and exhale, everything comes center. Walk the feet to the outside edges of the mat again. Pick up the hips, set them down. And now let the knees fall to our left. Chin lightly tucked, holding that small orange. Right shoulder stays down. If you need a little less intensity, slide the left foot in towards the midline of the body. Or if you want a little more, pick up the heel, place it to the outside of the right knee and thigh. Let the left knee fall down to the mat. If you wish, look over the right shoulder as we take all of our breath into our right lung. Let's take one more breath here, please. Uncross the ankle if it's crossed. Inhale and exhale. Everything comes center. Pick up the hip, set them down. Circle the knees around into our chest. One hand on each knee. Let our hands hold our legs up and let's rock side to side across our low back. And then release the rock. Let the feet come to our mat one at a time. Find our strap and place the strap around the ball of the right foot. So extend the leg long and create a gentle stretch in the back of our right leg. Toes towards the nose, heel to the ceiling. I'm trying to have the foot flat. Sometimes it likes to roll in or out. It should be a gentle stretch again in the back of the leg. If you feel it behind your knee, soften your knee. Put a little bend in it to make sure we're transferring the weight into the hamstring and protecting our knee joint. And then release the tension, give a little back. If you want to do some ankle circles. And then as we exhale, put the gentle stretch back on.
and then release the tension. Good job. Both ends of the strap in the left hand, right arm out to our side. Put a nice stretch on the back of the right leg, flex the foot and bring it across the body. Roll onto the left hip, but keep the right shoulder down on our mat. Reach through the right heel. If you don't feel a stretch, keep the leg straight, but bring it up higher towards the left shoulder. And then breathing into the tight spots again. Inhale and exhale. Derotate, come back, center. Release the strap and slowly lower the leg back to our mat. Once it gets there, let it relax, wiggle it out. And then let's change sides. Right leg in, left leg up, strap. Again, right below the base of the toes. Extend the leg, micro bend in the knee. Toes to the nose, heel to the ceiling, a feel-good stretch. And then release the tension, give a little back if you want. Do some ankle circles to work on ankle mobility. And then put the stretch back on when you're ready. And release the tension again slightly. Both ends of the strap in the right hand. Left arm out to our side T position. Put a nice stretch on the left leg. Flex the foot. When we're ready, bring the left leg across the body. Roll on to our right hip as we reach through the left heel. Keeping the left shoulder down on our mat. If you need more of a stretch, keep the leg straight. Bring it up higher towards our right shoulder. Again, breathing into the tight spots. Inhale and exhale, return to center. Release the strap, place it off to our side. Slowly lower the left leg back to our mat. Once it gets there, let it relax, wiggle it out. And then step our left foot in to meet our right. And let the knees fall open into reclined cobbler's pose. If that feels good to you or for our final breath work and relaxation. If it doesn't extend the legs long about the width of the mat, Arms away from our side, about a 45 degree angle away from our bodies. So think about anatomical position. And then let's wiggle into it. And find that perfect spot to relax just a little more. Softening all our facial muscles, including the mouth, just a little more. Softening the abdomen just a little more. And now slowing our breath just a little more. Taking one more belly breath together, please. And then bring the soles of the feet together and the palms of our hands together. Rub them back and forth, start your fire. And then release, cup the hands over the eyes, circle the knees around into the chest, 
open the eyes and bring the hands to the knees. And then we can roll to our right to come up to seat or roll like a ball coming up on our third rock. And then finishing back in our easy seated pose. Bringing our hands to heart center and namaste. Thank you for sharing your practice and your time with me. Remember to practice, repeat, and share. Uh, if you have not subscribed to the channel, I encourage you to do that. It's much easier for to you to get to the videos. Thank you.